over the past few years. Several new insights into the character of Yellowstone's magma reservoir have been published. These results are largely based on seismic data, particularly variable seismic wave velocities in the subsurface. Seismic waves record information about the structure and composition of the subsurface as they pass through the Earth. Travel time can be used to determine how fast the wave propagates. Hot or molten rock partially slows wave propagation compared to solid rock, so seismic waves that move more slowly than expected may indicate the presence of hot or molten material. However, measuring the travel time from source to receiver only provides average information along the wave path. It is difficult to accurately characterize highly variable and complex underground regions. For example, beneath volcanoes, more data is needed, just like digital cameras, where larger megapixels produce better images. More seismic data provides better resolution for viewing subsurface conditions. Scientists have used seismic wave velocities from earthquakes that occurred around Yellowstone and even hundreds of miles away to image the current magmatic system beneath Yellowstone's caldera, which consists of two stacked reservoirs, one containing viscous rhyolite magma at a depth of 5 to 19 kilometers, about 3 to 12 miles, and the second layer holds more fluid basaltic magma at 20 to 50 kilometers, about 12 to 30 miles, below the surface. Based on the seismic wave velocity, the melt fraction in the total reservoir system is less than 10% overall. Assuming the fluid phase of the material, liquid, is widely distributed within the solid rock matrix, the upper reservoir contains more melt, perhaps up to 20%, based on recent estimates in the lower reservoir, but both are mostly solid. But these images provide no information about the texture of the reservoir, or how the melt might be stored, for example, distributed evenly, all in one place, or in small containers. This is the same type of sensor used to study the dynamics of old faithful and steamboat geysers. The 2020 Seismic Array was designed to passively record seismic waves generated by the ocean, known as microseisms. Although the energy of the microseism is small, it can be detected by modern seismometers, even very far from the coast, and has characteristics that make it idle for studying the crustal structure beneath Yellowstone. 